Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. Right, last but not least, we have the sound assistant. So here we can personalize our sound setup for different times. So these are some examples they give, maybe a different scenario when you're at home, work or sleep. You can set the start and end times, what days, whether to be in vibrate mode, to mute medium ringtones, to play sound through the headphones after switching to vibrate mode, and to switch to vibrate mode when the headphones are connected. You can add your own scenarios in here as well, and you can customize them as you wish. So let's just go through the various options that we've got here. In the volume, we can set the volume panel theme. So the classic theme here is this one here, where it comes down and you have to sort of press an arrow and it comes down so you can set the different media application sounds and notification volumes. You can also set it to the zero mode here where this is a side view. So if we have a look here, we'll see we've now got the side panel of the notifications. Whereas before we had the classic view, which was like this. We can set the color as well to make it slightly easier to see if we're struggling. Let's put it in the red mode here. And the other nice thing we can do is when we're in the panel here, we can actually set different volumes for different apps. So for Twitch here, we might want to set it to say 50%, YouTube to be slightly less than Twitch, for example. We can also click on here to go back to the app. So it's a bit of a shortcut. And again, we can switch back to YouTube if we want. So that's quite handy. And then if we click on the button on the side here, we can actually send the sound to our Bluetooth headset and have another sound still coming out of the phone. So you can separate the app sound from the phone to a different headset, but still have your phone play something else. You can set your phone to control the media volume rather than the ringtone volume when you're using your volume keys. That's quite a useful one. We can set individual app volumes here as you can see, we've already started setting some. You can add different apps into the list and set them accordingly. So if you've got a game which always loads up very loudly, let's say Asphalt 9, we can set that down to say 50%. We can have a little floating button here. So if we press the volume button here, we'll see that there's actually a little sound assistant button that pops up as well. So you can quickly go into there. You can then configure the equalizer for your sound. It's really quite detailed, the amount of things you can do here. We can also change the amount that the volume will increase at. So if you find that when you're pressing the button, it's going up too quickly, you can press and hold here and have it go up in one step or whatever you choose. Just gives you a bit more granularity on the volume control. Here we can set multi-sound, so we can enable apps to play sounds at the same time. So if we turn that on, all apps can play the sound at the same time as other apps. If there's an application you only want to play through a Bluetooth headset, say a game or music, then you can enable this, select an app, let's say Amazon Music, and now Amazon Music will only ever play through a headset or Bluetooth device. Assuming we set it. So we select on Bluetooth device, and now it's configured to do so. We can set the sound quality and effects here. So this is what we saw from the little quick bubble here. So we can adjust all our different audio settings here and we can set preset equalizer settings here too. Under the advanced settings at the bottom, we can switch from stereo to mono if we want. We can set an app to play and control the music when we press the multimedia keys on the connected headphones. I don't have any to share that with at the moment, but that is available too. Here we can control music with the volume keys. So to go to the next or previous track, we can enable the selfie stick mode, which allows you to still hear your phone audio when you've plugged in a selfie stick. Now that's normally gonna be for the three and a half mil selfie sticks, but I guess that's just a leftover option from an older version. But if your phone does have a three and a half mil jack still, then that's quite useful. 
We can set whether to allow alerts through on the headphones. I find it quite annoying, so I could turn those off, but allow the ringtone to come on. Here we can actually set the left and right speakers to be reversed. And if we had some headphones plugged in, we can actually set the sound balance here. So that's quite a nice one as well, the sound assistant. There's lots of customization there for you to do and have a play around with to get the sort of perfect, you know, perfect setup for your phone. And that is the last of the good lock items. So I hope you enjoyed the video. There's lots of features as you can see in good lock. It's a shame that some of them aren't actually built into the phone to start with, but it's not hard to download them and stick them on for yourself. And then you can just pick and choose which features you actually want from these lists. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again in the next one.